Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I want to chat a little bit about just my early stages of this and how how everything just kind of evolved and changed. It, it, and, I, and I know I've talked about this in the past, but I, I can recall so many times that my life seemed out of control, that I seemed completely paranoid and stressed and just overwhelmed by everything that was going on. That I mean, this is even before the divorce. This is even before all that stuff happened, that it just seemed like I was living this illusion or this lie that I was going to be found out at any moment. And it was just this constant state of stress and anxiety. And it wasn't really a great time. I spent various stages throughout my life with these ups and downs, trying to, to reconcile what was going on and, and what I was hoping to accomplish and <clears throat> trying to figure out what my hopes and dreams were. It was really weird. It was like I was chasing something that, I mean, I know now that I didn't even need to be, I need to chase. It was like I already had everything emotionally that I really needed. I just wasn't at the point to where I could understand it or to where it made, it made a lot of sense. Okay. So this might sound all confusing. So let me, let me try to, to deep dive in this, right? When you are raised in a family that's, that's basically toxic, love is conditional. You, you're trying to read what's going on to, to make sure that everyone's happy, to minimize the damage. Uh, as soon as you realize that if you, God forbid, you lash out or you try to assert yourself or you say anything that you are crushed down swiftly and completely, you learn to navigate those waters. And when you're constantly unsure of your surroundings or, or what's going to happen or how your parent or, well, only one parent, in my situation, because I was raised primarily by my mom, how they're going to react. It makes it really tough. You're always on these pins and needles trying to figure out what's going to happen next. Is it going to be good enough? Are they going to support you? And whenever you're constantly devalued, whenever you're raised in an environment that you fundamentally get the message that you're not worthy, it really has a profound effect on your life. And it really makes it tough as you grow and mature and start your career and everything, you always got that information or you always got those questions in the back of your head. Am I really good enough? Is this a trick? You know, are they going to change? Are they going to realize that they don't really like me or, or that I'm not good enough? The, the, the hard part about that is that every time you get a little piece of information that reinforces what that, that subliminal thought that's in the back of your mind, you accept it as real. You accept it as, as valid and true. That can follow you for a lifetime. It followed me for almost, well, a little over 40 years until this whole process started. And as I was going through this, trying to reconcile what happened, trying to figure out what, you know, what the heck this whole thing really was, it was really tough. It was really tough. And I mean, I can laugh about it now because I'm on the other side of this and I don't have those same, same situations. So what I what I mean is is I don't have the, that little voice in the back of my head basically telling me that I'm a piece of crap or something like that. All of that's really not there anymore, and and it's it's crazy because all of this really happened as a result of this this experience, this toxic relationship that flamed out in a horrific way that turned into a huge custody battle and parental alienation and, and all the things that go with it to get me to the point that I am now, to get me to a, a point where the other day I posted on my community tab to a point to where I can just look out my window, feel the peace, feel, and that's what it would happen. I was, <laughs> it wasn't windy like it was the other day where I had the window open, the wind was below, you know, nice little breeze was blowing through the house. The wind chimes were ringing. The sun was getting ready to, or was setting through the trees. And it was just felt so peaceful and so calm and so serene. And I was really caught up in that moment that I just really enjoyed it. And I did try to take a picture of it and shared it on the community tab. But I remember a time where I didn't even have the capacity to slow down enough to enjoy the moment. I was felt like I was constantly in this running, running gun battle. I've used that analogy before to where I just wasn't able to to appreciate anything. I always felt like I was in a sense of loss. I always felt like there was another shoe or another, another hammer that was getting ready to drop. 
And when you're living like that, it really, it really wears you down and it really corrupts everything about your life. And if you're dealing with somebody who is, who is covertly and subtly constantly putting you down, giving you backhanded compliments, giving you things to where your brain is trying to, to figure out, what, what, was that, was that, was I just slammed? You know, was that type of thing. Whenever you're, you're just not really sure. And then you say something about it and you're attacked because you're oversensitive or, or you're taking it out of context, or that's not really what it meant. Why do you always take everything the wrong way? You know, that type of thing. It makes it really, it makes it really tough. And then when you start going through a toxic relationship meltdown, where you end up being targeted and discarded and devalued, it just tears you apart. Partly that's because in the back of your mind, it's like a manifestation of the reality that you really know. That in the back of the mind, you knew you weren't good enough. I think that's why a lot of people get into the mode to where, you know, they, they see their ex uh, with, well, with someone else or doing something different and you're, and you're thinking to yourself, you know, that, that someone else is getting the best or, or now, you know, now they're living a better life without you. The, re the reality is all of that stuff really holds you down. All of that stuff is keeping you trapped to the moment and unable to see your own potential, to unable to see your own f uh, future. And it just keeps you stuck. It keeps you bonded to that chaos. Now, the other part about this is that a lot of times you kind of get used to the chaos. You kind of feel like uh, that's your comfort place. It makes it real easy to stay in those situations. It makes it really tough to leave. And it makes it whenever you're out and you have peace, it can really freak you out because it doesn't feel right. What do you mean there's no chaos going on? I need to add chaos. I need to add something into my life to make it a little more complicated. That's how people can end up in, in new bad relationships or put themselves in situations that, that really aren't healthy for them that just kind of perpetuate this. One of the gifts that we get out of this, and it's hard to say gift because I know a lot of people, especially in the beginning parts of this, did not feel like there's anything positive about this. But the reality is one of the gifts that happens out of this is you start to reevaluate your life, your past, everything that's happened to you, and your future. You start to realize that maybe the story that you've told about yourself in your own mind and maybe what other people have said about you isn't really true. And the really cool part about it, really cool part about it is it doesn't matter if it was true. You actually have the opportunity to take a pause and say, you know what? I want to change my life. I want to do something different. I don't want to go down this way anymore. I don't want to be that person anymore. I want to be different. I want to be a better person. I want to be more enlightened. I want to be happy and to be able to find peace, to be able just to find joy in life. You can choose to do that. And that's one of the missions that I've been on, I guess I, if you call it that, for, for the last eight years, this whole thing, is to find the life that I really wanted. Find the, the location, find that dream in my head, find that, that uh, not fantasy, but the ideal that I had and make it a reality, not make it a fantasy, not make it something to where, you know, I'm going to pretend that this is actually better than it is and, and these things aren't happening, but to actually find it. And, that, and that's really the, the amazing part about this is you get to break free from this. You get to eliminate the tox, toxic crap out of your life. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. It, it takes a lot of work. And if you're dealing with kids and all the other stuff that happens with that, it, it adds a whole other layer of complexity. But it still, it still is attainable. It still is something that you can achieve. It's not something that's like, you know, oh, that's a different lifetime. I can't ever accomplish it. That's not true. You absolutely can. These situations afford us the opportunity to be able to do that. No, it sounds kind of weird. No, it's not really, you know, it's like, really? You know, this is what I have to go through to get to that? But it, it really is. It really is. It's, it's like I said, it takes a lot of work, right? I mean, to break those trauma bonds and to break that subliminal programming that you may have had a lifetime to get to is achievable. And you just have to have a little bit of faith and a little bit of hope that, it's, that there is a potential for that out there. And then slowly work your way towards it. Take the little steps, the little baby steps, if you want to call them that, to get to where you're, you're building on successes. You, maybe you start here, then you build a little up, and you build a little up, and you build a little up, build a little up, and then before you know it, you're, at the, you're closer to the life that you always dreamt of. 
So I would love to hear what you think about this. I know, I, I know from looking at comments and, and chatting with people that there's a lot of people out there who, who absolutely understand this. If you're struggling with this, I want to. I, my question for you is: Do you think, or do you believe yet, that there is a possibility for that, or does it still seem like it's so impossible and out of reach? Leave that in the comments below, and I will catch you on the next video. Take care.